Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Net Warrior. Welcome back to Channel Fish and Trips. And I'm back, y'all. Back! Look, man, check it. Check it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Right now, where the hell have you been at right now? It's been about 45 days since my last upload. 45 days. Now, as some of you know, I posted on my community page about 45 days ago. On New Year's Eve, test positive for COVID. That's right. Your boy fits and trip, test positive for COVID. But I survived. It took me about a good three weeks, I would say, to feel like myself again. When I say feel my like my myself, I mean like my energy level. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm a little energetic. I've been told I'm a little energetic. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know I felt like myself again. Then you probably be thinking, okay, right now, if it took you about three weeks to feel like yourself again, what about the other um three or four weeks? See what happened was there's a little thing called winter. Okay, winter came rolling through Texas like Suge Knight on death row records just boom, you know now i don't know if y'all noticed this maybe some of you haven't but i'm black okay black people we don't do cold weather like that i'm sorry man i'm sorry i do not go fishing in no 27 degree weather in no 32 below degree weather like real talk real talk i'm not being stereotypic let's talk about it let's be real about it tell me one time in the comments when you've ever seen a black person ice fishing Go ahead, I'll wait. Yeah, comment below, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You had it, never! There's never been a black person to ever ice fish in the history of time. Because we don't do cold weather like that, y'all. So today, it's about 52 degrees, man. The sun is out, it's a vibe, it feels good, it's not hot. So your boy's about to do something I ain't done in a minute. My OGs know what this, what this is. Freshwater Tuesdays! Freshwater Tuesday. Look, man, back in the day, like a year ago, I wanted to upload more content on my channel, so I did this thing where majority of my fishing is salt water, so to add more content, I started fishing around the Houston and surrounding area for fresh water. I called it Freshwater Tuesdays because I dropped the video on Tuesday with freshwater content. So this is gonna be a Freshwater Tuesday video, unless I don't drop it on Tuesday. Just vibe with it, okay, vibe with it. So yeah, your boy's about to go chase some white bass. We had this huge cold front come in like two days ago. Maybe they're running, I don't know. So I went here once before last year, ate some mushrooms, ended up bad. It's okay though, I survived. So yeah, we're gonna head up to, um, I believe it's called Jesse Jones Park, north side. North side! And um, see what we can do. I mean, personally, I think I'm gonna catch a limit of white bass. What's the limit of white bass, like 10? I got that, easy, easy. I think I can do it. Okay. Ultra light and cast that rattle trap rather far. Here we go. Let us go, y'all. It's good to be back. I miss y'all, man. Lego! So we have arrived y'all but look man i forgot to tell you another story as far as why it took me so long to come back so check this out man i was actually supposed to come back last week and start filming you know me and mdlr uh, fishing was supposed to hook up mdlr fishing man you you got a long name bro we gotta we gotta talk about that name you know how hard it is to say mdlr fishing mdlr fishing let's just call you fishing fishing mark mark fishing We'll talk about it later. So we were supposed to go fishing last week, right? The morning that we're supposed to link up, I'm checking all my gear on my kayak at home, and I realized there's an issue with my Mirage Drive. My kayak is only like six months old, right? It's a small issue with something with a tension screw that you know holds the flaps up. Small issue, but it keeps me immobilized, so I could not go fishing. So I had Mark, I'm like, yo, you know, I gotta put in a warranty request. There's an issue with my Mirage Drive. So Mark was like, okay, cool, cool. So I'm like, yeah, man, um, I believe there is Fishing Tackle Unlimited off of Golf Freeway that is an authorized Hobie dealer because I bought my Hobie in Dallas at Mariner Sales. So I'm like, cool, I'm gonna, you know, just take it to Golf, you know, sorry, Fishing Tackle Unlimited to see if I can do a warranty submission. So Mark was like, okay, bet, bet. He's like, yeah, I actually, you know, did a 
you know, warranty request with my Mirage Drive. I'm like, oh, word, good, cool, cool. How long did it take you, you know, to get it back? He was like, I don't know, man. It's been like two years. I still ain't heard nothing back. I'm like, what? Two, two what? Two years? All right. So at that point, I'm already like in a bad mood. I'm like, you know what? I was expecting like anytime you spend like a warranty request, normally, you know, it's gonna be a, a bad, a bad, you know, like scenario situation, you know. So we'll we'll see. So I call up Fish and Tackle Unlimited, and they transfer me to the kayak department. And somebody's there. He's like, "Yeah, um, here is the person who's gonna handle it. His name is Nick. He's at the fishing show right now. You can send him an email. He'll follow up with you probably on Monday." I'm like, "All right, bet." So I shoot Nick an email from Fish and Tackle Unlimited off the Gulf Freeway. And like an hour later, he emails me back. I guess he's at the fishing show and maybe he has his phone to check the emails. He's like, yo, send me a picture, serial number, the part, what's going on? I'm like, okay, that's odd. I wasn't expecting him to, you know, respond so quickly. So that was Saturday, okay, last Saturday. On Monday, he sends me another email. Hey, this lets you know I submitted the warranty request to, you know, to Hobie. I'm like, damn, he's following up pretty quick. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, bet. Now, honestly, y'all, I'm thinking, it's gonna be like two months before this situation gets fixed. It's gonna take about two months to get my parts. I'm gonna have to go up there, act like Karen. I was expecting like, you know, a whole Karen moment. That was Monday, right? Tuesday, he sends me another email. He's like, yo, your warranty submission has been approved. Your part has been ordered. It's on the way. I'm like, word? I'm still skeptical, man. Like this is going a little bit too smoothly, right? So Nick hits me up. Friday, six days later, and he's like, yo, your part's in. Go ahead and bring your Mirage ride, I'll, you know, set it up. I'm like, really? I'm still skeptical. It's been six days, and this man has submitted my warranty request. He got the part in. So I'm driving to, you know, Fish and Tackle Unlimited, thinking, yeah, this is just gonna be the wrong part. It's gonna be the wrong part. Something about this isn't right, because it's going too smoothly. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking it's gonna take two months. I'm gonna have to take Kobe to small claims court, whatever. So. I get to the Fish and Tackle Unlimited, and Nick's back there, man. And he's like, hey, man, I got you. I'm like, it's going to be the wrong part. He pulls out the part. It's the right part. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so how much I charge to, you know, replace it? Like, I'm not charging you nothing. So Nick is doing his thing, banging up the Mirage Drive, taking it apart, put it back together. About 10 to 15 minutes. He's like, there you go, bro. You're good to go. I'm looking at my Mirage side. like, wow. From the day I first sent that email to the day my problem was fixed, Per my warranty, six days, six days. Normally when people get on social media is to complain about a customer service experience. I'm using my platform to shout out Nick from Fish and Tackle Unlimited at the Golf Freeway for some good customer service. Damn it, we need to apply good, good customer service when it happens. Cause you know why? Post COVID y'all, everybody knows post COVID, good customer service is like a rarity. It does not happen, does, does not happen. So when you come across it, let's applaud it. Thank you, Nick from Fish and Tackle Unlimited to get me back on the water. I had to tell that story. All right, y'all. Let's go find our um, spot and trying to get, you know, ate up by a bear. Let us go. Let's go. All right, y'all. So let's talk about gear and the taxes we're going to use, okay? Now, last time I came here, I killed it with this little bitty rattle trap. Y'all see that? Little bitty rattle trap. I thought I had more than these, but I only got one. So we're gonna have to stress this one out. But we'll see. We'll see. If that doesn't work, we got some rooster tails, a little jerk bait. We got a backup plan, but I think this is gonna get it done. Miniature rattle trap. Yeah. I right, just wanted to let y'all know that.
All right, y'all, so I think we're getting close to the spot. I do vaguely remember this fork in the road. All the damn sand. So we're gonna head this way. Cause I think right past this clearing, it's gonna be Cypress Creek. But before the clearing, to get to the creek, I think there's like a huge drop off. So we'll see. So it's been like a year since I last been here. So it's going off of memory. My memory's not that great because I ate some wild mushrooms out here last time. Didn't end well. Find that block. Okay. So we come here to the left. And here we go. And that's it. And we got to get past the creek for death. And this is the spot where everybody's at. We'll find our own spot though. Let's go. All right. Here we go. It's been a while since I've been out here. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Mr. Al, what up, bro? Get past old homes. It's good, man. It's getting back out here in these streets since people think I'm dead. <laughs> Where you been at, man? That's true. Yeah, man. Just recuperating. Recuperating. Yeah, uh huh. Had um COVID like six weeks ago. Oh, man, that's not good. Eh, it only lasts like a couple of weeks, but. You feeling good now? Oh yeah, I've been good for like four weeks. This has been too damn cold. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah man. It looks a lot different since the last came. The whole bank is different. That water's taking a lot of sand down. Yeah. It has a pretty good rain, so it drains all of the sand, changes all the structure here. It's completely different. A lot more water too. I kinda of figured that cold front may help it the stuff you know the bass run or you been out here lately i've been out here on the kayak about a month ago uh -huh. we did pretty good yeah this is actually my first time out here mm, all right i thought about bringing my kayak out here but you got to get like a permit or something right uh, out here yeah if you park over there by the bridge uh -huh. oh for all it's an easy launch yeah is it easy access, yeah. like 59 and what uh, right the Alright y'all. So let's go and get our gear. Use my net because I'm on this steep hill. I ain't trying to die. Catch no damn bass. Okay. I'm just gonna catch and release. I'm not keeping fish today, man. I need to just warm back up and get back into the game. See if I still got it. I kind of left on a hot streak. But we'll see. Right. Met just in case. Alright, y'all. So, like I said, man, it's been, it's been about... 45 days since my last upload. Before that, I went fishing maybe like a week, two weeks before that. So it's been about two months, y'all. Two months since I've been fishing. So um, work with me, work with me, okay? Let's get it. Here we go. All right, I brought my Marsh. Old 18, seven foot ultralight rod out here. I got my five pound braid, 10 pound floral leader, miniature rattle trap. Let's get her done, people. All right. Make sure I'm recording, because I feel like a rookie again. Okay. Ultra light and cast that rattle trap rather far. Here we go. Current is definitely ripping, man. 
Most of my bikes came closer to shore. Yeah, the current is pushing it to the right. So let's work our way to the left. Work away with current. Slowly retrieve it back. Yeah, we're gonna try a few more casts over here. Try a different spot. What time is it? 2.32. Give myself an hour to make this happen. Huh? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. So, uh, what your whole page? It's called Fish and Trips. Let me check, man. Fish and Trips. I like to watch, especially my uncle, every day. Yeah? Yeah, he's such a plate to fish. He's a Thai person, so. Okay. Fish and trip, right? Yeah, fish and trips. Should be easy to find. Well, not the, not chip like trips. <laughs> Everybody thinks fish and chips, but fish and trips. How do you spell it? T R. T R. I P. There I go, right there. First one. Oh. Oh, back up. That's not. Well, backspace. There you go. Now hit that one, the first one, the top the, one. The trip? Yep. Okay. Trips. Okay. And you see that? That's me right there. Right there? Let me subscribe you, man. Thank so you. I can, can, I, can I see something? I appreciate it. What's your name? Penn, man. Penn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Penn, right now. All right, man. I just want to really see you when you say it's cool. Yeah? Gonna see us not catching fish on my channel? Yeah, <laughs> I want to see you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's been like, I don't know, a couple of hours now. No bites. I'm Jim Gentleman over there. They've been here for hours and they got like one bass between amongst four of them. So it's not looking too promising here. I think I'm gonna relocate. Try one more spot before I consider um, my fishing day at L. But not the episode at L, just catching a fish at L. You know, it's not about catching fish on my channel, man. It's about the experience of the trip. So we'll see what we can do. I need to experience catching a damn fish though. Come on, let's go. I'm about to see a unicorn, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all. So um, I've made a fatal mistake. I I left the path. I should know better than this, man. Black people do not go off the path. So I'm worried that I'm in a snake-infested area. I'm not sure how to get back. Look, look where I'm around. Look at that. Look at that. So I think the safest thing to do is just backtrack. Backtrack where I came from. And find a find a trail. Cause I can't figure out how to get to the bank. I mean I can see it over there, but I'm not about to walk over Snake Bania, Snakeville. Okay, let's let's go back. Oh my god, okay, is this just a vine right now? Just a vine. How do I get over there though? I'm not walking in that grass, bro. That is not happening. Maybe there's a another trail I don't know about. I'm not sure. It's a random Christmas tree over here. I mean, I can see it right there. But I can't figure out how to get to it. I'm not walking in that, bro. It's right there right now. All I gotta do is just like literally walk through that brush of um, death. Nah, mm -mm. Nope, vlog over. Vlog, vlog is over. Yeah, we're going back to our truck, y'all. Let's go back to civilization. Wait a minute, where are they coming from? Maybe 
maybe they came from the track so we'll see all right we shall see oh man all right so maybe maybe they coming from where i'm trying to go let's see is there anything back here this cannot be safe this definitely cannot be safe okay this might be another trail okay progress i think we're making progress looks like human footsteps over there hold on y'all i think i may have found it by accident Did I really find it? I think I found it, y'all. There's some sand in my shoe right now. Yes. Hold on, let me. Damn it, I should have like dropped some breadcrumbs so I can find my way back out of here. That's all good. I can see y'all for help. See y'all for help. Let me practice. <clears throat> No, that's not. That's, that's too much excitement. That's too much excitement. Hit! No, no. My voice is too deep. They won't come and help me. My voice is too deep. Help! Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh, my God. Hell to the now. To the now, now, now. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all situated. Because I keep falling. <sighs> Y'all, y'all see that? Hold oh, no, on, wait a minute. Let me put my stuff down. Oh no, no. Okay. Um, what we ain't about to do is go down this 20 foot cliff to get some damn fish. Ain't no way. Mm mm. Ain't no freaking way. I mean, it is like a step ladder. I think I can make it. I think I can make it. All right, listen. If the authorities happen to find this video, I did not make it, okay? I still need you to upload this video. And in my honor, can this video please get one million views? I didn't. I don't want to die for anything less than one, one million views because I'm about to try to go down the hill of death for y'all. So if I didn't make it, mom, I love you. Everybody else, y'all can just kiss my All right. Here goes nothing. Put camera up. Oh man, this is such a bad idea right now. Such a bad idea. But no. You want to be a YouTuber. You want to catch a stupid fish to, to complete your episode. It's all good. Because you've done it, you deserve it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, y'all. All right, y'all. Focus right now. Here we go. Here we go. Step one. Oh my God. Okay, we good. We good. Okay. I should have put my gloves on. Oh no. Oh no. I tried to grip the grass, but it's it's all prickly. God dang it. I got a thorn. I made it four feet before I got a thorn. No. Mm -mm. Nope. We trust our instinct. Black folk, we trust instinct. This is how we stay alive. This is how we stay alive. Yeah, yeah. See? See that? That's called instinct, man. My people, we don't do stuff like that. If it says like, yo, you're gonna die, you might not want to do that. We don't do it. Simple. Simple. So we're gonna go ahead and turn back around and head to the truck.